So, how do you convert carrots to grams? You may hear a story about like somebody sold like a hundred carat diamond and thought to yourself, oh gosh, how big is that? Because it's not like carrots are a unit of measurement that we use in everyday life. It's actually a very old system of measurement. It originally came from the seed of a carob tree, which is a legume, kind of like, well, chickpeas or peanuts. But they thought that the carob seeds were pretty much all the same size. So they made a very nice unit of measurement. The problem is they're not all the same size and different areas would come up with different standards for what a carrot should be. So about a little over 100 years ago, they set it, an international standard based on the metric system. And basically it comes down to this. There are five carats in a gram. So you take the number of carats, number of carats, CT is the abbreviation for carats, you divide it by five, and that equals the number of grams. Now, by the way, if you're looking for it in milligrams, you will also have to multiply that by a thousand because there's a thousand milligrams in a gram. But if you're just going carrots to gram, just divide by five. That hundred carat diamond is 20 grams. Pretty much, e pretty easy. And to go the other way, you just simply reverse it. So the number of grams, if you find a diamond and you want to know how many carats it is, just take the number of grams, multiply it by five, and that will give you the number of carats. It's that simple. So now the next time you hear about a enormous diamond or gemstone, you'll know exactly how big it really is. Probably not that big when you think about it.